thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. You speak nonsense, Basim. Forgiveness is impossible. We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. memory. I have waited countless ages for this moment. No more talk. I hunger for this kill. Make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Be careful! He's 
But you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. man's anger, his rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am... not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery. Your courage. Wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dag called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenifortshire, our search for the Saka Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom, and strength, and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, 
I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... ...like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. A tale for the ages. I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large... ...it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right. Of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex.
I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean? Here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right. We may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, the radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawahoe Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solus Fras Hunakudi De, Unzum Huraz, Besdere Haz, Zohumsi. and the ice melted.
down. Would anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? It's just like the Empress. It's just like the Empress. Something feels off. Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. 
But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lattice that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it. Silence, Udur. Verdandi. Skald. Be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last. We last. Is that it? Is it done? Vasim! Where are you? What is that? Layla, hello. You know me? Yes, through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. 
We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. To the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. See, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you! You left her there! I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do name William Miles William Miles I'd like to meet William Miles would you bring him to me we can call him encrypted line you can talk to him right now 
no technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. Okay. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. Wonderful smell of wood smoke. I'm glad some things never change. Non-empathic art. That's rather dull. You're cordially invited to John and Judy's wedding, taking place this November, Village Chapel. That would be interesting. Hello, little fella.
Is it wishful thinking to believe this device has a thought interface? Do I really have to use my hands and voice? Mmm, magic. something. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. A few days at most. So here we go. It's a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Safe and standing tall. Did you 
Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Uh... Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Rangri? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? The love and joy words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of King. On ocean speed, my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds, thine honor sing. We each can place our trail of bread. Till Odin gaze upon the dead. The most we sound the mighty horn. For those who fight, for those who fall. Sound the mighty hall for we who fight, for we who fall.